Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one is not going to be a tutorial. This time it's just going to be a bit of fan art, just me sketching, or a time-lapse art video, let's call it. So this is me actually working on the iPad, so using Procreate. It's an app that I've started trying to use sometimes. Any of you guys who draw on an Apple iPad tablet will probably be familiar with it. For me, I usually work in Photoshop, but I figured I would give this one a go. And also the recording feature is pretty easy to use in Procreate, which is what you're watching on screen at the moment. So this is actually fan art or a sketch from a new video game called Godfall. I believe this character is called Silvermane. And obviously, or hopefully, you can tell that it's based on a lion design. Or some sort of large cat anyway, I'm assuming a lion. It goes without saying, I haven't created this design, I haven't done anything like this, I haven't come up with any of it. This is me working from reference. If you googled Godfall, you would see the original of this image, so you can see what I'm working from. I wasn't really trying to change anything. To be completely honest, I just fancied sketching something, and I saw a picture of this. I thought it looked cool, and I thought, why not? And it happened to turn out pretty well for me, so I thought I'd upload this one. With me working in Procreate, I'm actually using just the standard HB pencil that comes with it. So I'm not using any custom brushes or anything like that. Some of you guys will already know I'm a bigger fan of sketching or pencil illustrations, let's call them, compared to like fully painterly rendered illustrations. Not that I don't like coloured paintings, I just enjoy sketching more. So when I started this, it was intended just to be a sketch. I wanted it to be quite refined and relatively neat, but without me worrying too much about it being pristine. I posted work in progress shots of this on Facebook and Instagram throughout and a few people suggested that I take this a little bit further than the intended sketch and I try and add some colour. Now if you've seen the reference image there isn't actually tons of colour on it. He's more of like a bronzy coloured armour in the photo with quite a lot of lighting. It's very reflective lighting which is always quite difficult for me on armour, something I find difficult. And then he's got these certain patches within the armour that are lit up with like a yellow light. A quick note, for some reason throughout the video, the colours look a tiny bit different to my actual finished image. I'm not sure why, but I've noticed this with a lot of my Procreate pieces, that when I render the video, they look slightly off colour compared to the JPEG that I've saved, which you'll see at the end. So when I start adding colour, you can see I work on a layer below the sketch, and I quite like the look of how that works already. It's not overly colourful, it's just a very flat colour, but it gives it almost like an ambient occlusion to the shadows. It wasn't really intentional, but I really like that. But it does change a little bit as I go on. So although I was working mainly with the HB pencil brush, I did go in just with some flat colours behind the line art to actually block in the colour. And I think towards the end, I do use a soft brush as well, just to touch up some areas of the armour and add some reflective lighting. You can't see too much what's going on there, but I'm just adding very light brush strokes to the hair to add a little bit of lighting to it. A few things to note as well, I didn't get this exact to the reference. I wanted it to look similar, but I wasn't trying to be too pristine about it. And I do notice some things that are off about it. I won't point them out on camera. But yeah, overall, I was really pleased with this one. When I was adding this lighting and with the shading earlier, I tried to do it keeping it in the same sketchy style, so making it so the lit up areas were actually sort of sketched in, you know, so that you can see the lines. Because as mentioned, I do like this style already. But it did mean that it ended up taking quite a long time, and towards the end of it, I switched to another brush and I just added in some darker and lighter patches just to enhance it a little bit. Aside from that, I did add a little bit of yellow and orange tint to the armour, just in random places where the light is reflecting. I turned the opacity down on these layers though, so it's quite subtle. And I tried to finish it off by adding just a little bit of texture to the background and a very faint pattern. I don't really know what that pattern is, to be honest, but the reference image had something similar and I felt like mine was missing something. So that's it, guys. That's my sketch finished. If you like this video and want to see more of my art, make sure you follow me on social media. I'll put links in the description box below for those of you that are interested. I was pleased overall with how this one turned out, and to be honest, I almost lost interest in it halfway through, so I'm glad that I managed to at least finish it off. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave me a comment below, hit that thumbs up button, and be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching, everyone.